Hey guys, my name is Jess. It's Thursday and the weekend is so close you can taste it. I don't know what a weekend tastes like, but I assume it's sour cream and onion Pringles. If you disagree, let me know in that comment box. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our top five show tomorrow. But for now, here's what's going on. Notoriously violent and brutal racing game Mario Kart 8 has patched out a controversial root hand gesture in the latest update. You may or may not recognize this one, but it's called the Italian Salute and is considered somewhat offensive in places like France, Spain, Italy and Portugal. To avoid cementing Mario Kart 8's name in the same infamous gaming halls as Manhunt and Outlast 2, Nintendo have gone ahead and replaced the gesture with a simple fist pump. We're not sure how it made it past our senses in Australia in the first place. Inkling Girl sure still looks like she's telling you to suck it though. The update also delivered small changes including changing starting positions in online races, extending the invincibility period after a spin out in online races, and driver me's now show proper facial expressions. For the full patch notes head to our story on GameSpot. In news that makes me pretty sure I'm psychic because I had a dream about Life is Strange last night, a new Life is Strange game is in the works. Please leave your psychic queries in that comment box and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Developer Don't Nod confirmed they're working on a follow-up to the mystical Time Rewindy original, and they also dropped the knowledge that over 3 million people purchased the first game. Much like our Far Cry 5 announcement from earlier this week, the developer have declined to offer up any more details on either the title or the format of the next game. Don't Nod added that we won't be seeing the title at E3, but they are hard at work ensuring they're making the best game possible. Finally, Bungie held a live stream to show off Destiny 2 gameplay. But what we got was way more than just a gameplay reveal. Bungie announced that Destiny's weapons have been completely revamped. The primary, secondary and heavy weapon slots of Destiny have been replaced with kinetic energy and power. New weapons were also showcased, including a grenade launcher and chain gun. There are also new supers for you to enjoy. Warlocks are getting Dawnblade, a fiery sword that lights your guardian on fire that allows you to fire slam enemies from above and hit them with your fiery sword. Did I mention fire? Titans are getting Sentinel, a Captain America-esque void shield that can block damage and be thrown into enemies. And hunters can summon an electrically charged staff and swing it around dangerously by way of the Arc Strider Super. But where will you be able to use all of these new toys? On the four new locations, which include Titan, Io, Nessus and Earth's European Dead Zone. Bungie have also said there's much more to do on the planets, like NPCs offering side quest-esque adventures and more frequent public events. You'll also be able to start activities from the planet's surface and warp from planet to planet without having to return to orbit. On the multiplayer side, Destiny 2's Crucible is capped at 4v4, and several modes from Destiny either won't be appearing in Destiny 2 or will have different play accounts. Destiny 2 is out on September 8 for Xbox One and PS4 with PC to follow sometime later. The PC version will support 4K and uncapped frame rates and will be available exclusively through the Blizzard app, which was previously Battle.net. For more info on any of the above or to check out the full live stream, head on over to GameSpot. That is everything I've got for you today. Do let me know what you cared about. Stop by GameSpot or our GameSpot Now app for all the latest newsy bits and pieces. And I will see you again tomorrow for our top five stories of the whole week.